30 seconds to put your Margot question. Kahirlock. Minister, this year your department is providing funding in the region of 5.5 million euro to support projects uh, underpinning and supporting the regeneration of the north inner city. That follows on from 3.5 million last year and 2.5 million the year before. My question is to you today is can you outline the impact that funding is having on that community and secondly if you believe that other disadvantaged communities uh, would benefit from similar programs. In 2019, my department is providing 6.5 million towards the regeneration of Dublin North East inner city. The investment will benefit not only the local community, but the city as a whole. It shows the government's commitment to ensuring that the recommendations of the Mulvery report are implemented. The funding provided by my department supports initiatives which are put forward by, by, by the board, uh, the implementation board, with the required oversight provided through Cabinet uh, Committee B. Some of the funding initiatives help families affected by addictions issues and drug-related intimidation. Others cover physical improvements to the NEIC area. The investment also funds a pilot social employment scheme for 50 staff to work with childcare, youth work, elderly care and other projects. It is hoped that the experience from this pilot scheme will inform the development of similar initiatives in other urban areas over the coming years. An additional resource, as, as additional resources become available, work is also underway to examine the effectiveness, the effectiveness of the government's investment to date. Outside of the NEIC, there are many examples of disadvantaged communities benefiting from significant investment from my department. For example, last year I provided 13 million under the Community Enhancement Programme to help groups across the country to improve facilities in disadvantaged areas. And last week I launched the 2019 programme with funding of 4.5 million. My department also funds the SIDECAP, a five-year, 190 million national programme delivered locally to help those in the greatest need. Thank you very much, Minister, for your reply. And uh, I acknowledge the increase in funding of 6.5 million for the North Inner City. You have identified some of the specific projects supported. I suppose the first question is, as this is the third year of funding from your department and it has increased, uh, the question of the impact that this funding is having uh, was one of the first questions I asked you. You went on to talk about the social economy project, social employment project that is funded this year to the region of 2 million, and I welcome that. And the, the question I asked specifically was, the programmes that are now benefiting in the North Inner City. We have many other areas across the country, and in Dublin in particular, which I would be familiar with, that suffer significantly in terms of economic disadvantage. And it is, the question I'm asking is, the experience of the North Inner City, the experience of the expenditure on these programmes, can they now be transferred to other programmes in other disadvantaged communities uh, that would benefit and it would be evidence-based? And that's why, being in your third year, can we build on the evidence, build on the experience of the North Inner City to move other communities that have been stuck in areas of long-term economic disadvantage. Thank you very much, Deputy Minister. Look at Deputy, I thank you, uh, first of all, for your comments, and I, and I accept what you say. Uh, there's many areas, not alone in the cities, but outside of Dublin, in many parts of, of Ireland, where we could do with more funding in relation to target disadvantage. You asked us the question, Yes, it's working and working very well. Uh, the, the, the task force that are there, uh, and you know the Mulvey report that we, we talked about, is, uh, has been. Uh, they meet on a regular basis. They respond uh, to, to government, and I'm being told. And I've actually been in some of these places in inner city Dublin myself. And I just see, you know, in relation even to the groups that were there, uh, to, the, to the ring fencing that we are off the, 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 the for the 50 posts for the employment schemes. I mean, you see how they have worked. You see how they're, they, they're involved in the environment in relation. To, to, to keep in their area tidy. I was into community schemes there, or into community halls where they got funding from this scheme. And small bits of funding have really made you know, their lives a difference. And there's a wonderful community, and you know this, there's a wonderful community of people involved, particularly in inner city Dublin. Thank you, and nicer people you couldn't meet. But not alone that, they appreciate the funding they're getting. They see the funding they're getting, they, they, what it does for disadvantaged areas. And they actually, uh, it's working, and working very well. 
I would, able, would like to be able to roll this out in other areas. And we will be able to use this as an example. We'll be able to use this Thank task you. force. Uh, of course, it will all uh, come down to funding. And I wish I had more funding, uh, particularly for other areas in, in, in disadvantaged areas. Thank you. But this is a pilot scheme. It's working very well. And I must say that the government are, are, final, are, are committed to it. Final minute, uh, Deputy Curran. Thank you, Minister, for your reply. And I'm very pleased to hear the positive outcome in relation to the North Inner City. And I suppose that bolsters the argument I'm making. If it's working for the North Inner City, we have other very disadvantaged communities right around the city and around the country. And the traditional funding that they would have received in Rapid and so forth is no longer available because we have a community enhancement programme. But that is not targeted at the most vulnerable. I've, I've seen the projects that are supported. They are way outside the traditional Rapid area. And even if you talk about the money that you're making available this year in community enhancement, it is relatively small in comparison to what's going into the north inner city. Uh, so the, the level of support that disad and our most disadvantaged communities. So I want to conclude by asking you specifically, will you work to identify the most disadvantaged communities? And I heard Ms. Minister for Finance, uh, Pascal O'Donoghue, this morning on the radio saying he's currently working for next year's budget. We will gladly support you in a bid to see additional funding to target areas <coughs> of significant economic disadvantage that have, that have endured long-term unemployment and a whole range of other issues that are now being addressed in the inner city, and we need to roll this out to other areas around the country. One minute, Minister, final Thank comment. You. Thank you for your, for your offer support, and I'll take you up on that, because it is important, and you're quite correct. Uh, you know, sometimes we target areas and people like inner city Dublin, and as I said, in other parts of the country that are in disadvantaged areas, they don't have the clout that they should have. And that's why in my department, and I want to say this, with the side cap programme, the Commission has been programme, and I know you spoke about the, the kind of level of funding, and I was pleased that the 6.5 6 million that we put into the inner city of Dublin, that was, a three that was a three million increase in 2018. But you're right. I want to see that, and I'd like to see other areas be covered with this. The Community Enhancement Programme I started off last year with four and a half million, and we finished up by putting 13 million into it. And I intend again this year, uh, if there's any savings in the department, that's one of the areas I look at. But one of the most important programmes that we don't talk about, and we don't talk about it, and it's a programme, to be honest, since I became Minister, that I've learned a lot more about it. That's the SIDECAP programme. That's 100 million over a number of years, or 130 million over a number of years. And I have to say that the SIDECAP programme is probably one of the better programmes, Thank you. because it actually identifies areas, it identifies individuals, and it takes in individuals, and we work with individuals. And the amount of successes that we have with that, the amount of people in Limerick and around the country with the SIDECAP programme on an individual basis that have been helped to create employment and to get employment and to help them to read and write and to deal with, I suppose, a group that need to be dealt with. And the SIDECAP programme is one that I will be looking for further funding for. It's one that I'm very fond of. Oh my God.